Hello. Uh, we're coming to you live from the city of Henderson. And it is uh, just a few days before National Vietnam Veterans Day. And so we're out here and we're on Henderson off of Water Street and we're at a memorial that this memorial is for combat wounded veterans, Purple Heart veterans. And um, this was dedicated, I believe, a couple years ago, and we're going to see what it says. Dedicated to the recipients of the nation's oldest military decoration, the Purple Heart. And down at the bottom right now, we brought the poem, I Saw His Face. I Saw His Face has been read at funeral services for our veterans. It has been carried in the veterans' parades for over a decade now. And you can see a picture of it next to a bronze statue here. And this was at the unveiling, the uh, groundbreaking ceremony in November, uh, November 2016. Groundbreaking ceremony for the, the um, Veterans National Tribute Memorial Park at 555 Washington, Washington Street here in Las Vegas. The poem, I Saw His Face, which blesses veterans, is carried in our veterans parades. Here, this, this is Paul Verde High School carrying it in a 2017 parade. It was just carried again in 2018 and 19. It's been carried for years. It's carried in the MLK parades, the um, annual 911 parades, and even uh, most recently in the St. Patrick's Day parade. We are here today to honor all of the fallen veterans. On the 29th of March, we'll take a special moment to reflect on the 58,220 souls lives lost in Vietnam, as well as the 1,626 uh, missing in action. We have a lot of people with us today that were in the Vietnam War that did not return to a good welcome when they came back. But 44 years after the last combat troops came in home in 73, President Trump signed the Operation Recognition Act. And this is to make sure that Vietnam will always be given the respect of being a national war and celebrated around the nation on every March 29th. So today, My Angel Cafe has come out here to the Purple Heart Veterans Monument. And we're going to go slowly uh, back a little bit so you can see the flags because we have a Purple Heart flag, which says Combat Wounded Veterans. So we're gonna see if we can go slowly up the pole and try to get you a picture of this flag. And then over to the other side, we have a beautiful American flag, and of course, just beneath it, our POW flag. And in most, uh, posts that you go to or military events, buildings, they'll have an empty chair or a table and an empty with a setting and an empty chair. We do not ever want to forget our POWs. We don't want to forget any of our veterans who have given so much for our country. So today is March well, National Veterans Day is March 29th, and we're just a couple days away from March 29th, 2019. If you look at the bricks here, there's names on the bricks. So if we go here, you can see it's going to tell the bricks, the uh, individual's rank. Uh, here's one, uh, SP5 Randy Conant. 3rd Engineer Battalion, U.S. Army, 1966-69, Vietnam, 68-69, Purple Heart, 68. So, some people receive the Purple Heart, uh, obviously posthumously, 
and some veterans have come back with their wounds and get their purple hearts. So it's, here's another one, David K. Hughes Infantry Airborne, 1966 to 1988, Vietnam. PFCR Hamilton C. Company, First Wolfhounds, 28 February, 1971, Vietnam. There's another one, Ralph McNamara, 1966 to 1990, Vietnam, 67 to 68. Over here we have CWS Dan Peterson, U.S. Army, 68 to 92, Vietnam, 69 to 71, Iraq, 90 to 91. So many sacrifices for this great nation, for these great United States. So God bless all of our Purple Heart veterans, all of our nation's World War II veterans, all of our Iraq Gulf veterans, all of our veterans that have fought over the last 200 years in different wars for America's freedom. So all of you today, we want you to be aware that National Vietnam Veterans Day is coming up this week. And we hope that you're going to a ceremony to celebrate. Nevada held a big ceremony last year at 555 North Washington Street. This year they're gonna hold a big uh, ceremony in Carson City. Uh, but tomorrow, rather on the 29th, My Angel Cafe will be at 555 North Washington Street to remember our Vietnam veterans. Thank you, reporting live from My Angel Cafe.